I bet you were expecting me to make some kind of mistake here, something funny, an oopsie. Joke's on you, I made this one with minimal mistakes. <laughs> It's me Becca and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making a pastry. It's a Danish. I found a super easy recipe on Pinterest and I'm very excited to try it because I really love them and I especially love the strawberry filled and this is what this one's going to be. And I'm like, this has always been like one of my very favorite pastries because I just feel like I like the, like the light and fluffiness of it. And I don't know, I just feel fancy when I eat one. So why not? And I always get my Panera bread. But those are a little bit more pricier and I just don't want to pay that much anymore. So I'm like, if I can learn how to make it at home, I can have them in my place. So let's go ahead and make them. Okay, to make the danishes, you will need one stick of butter, softened, a whole eight ounces of cream cheese, soft as well, powdered sugar, a thing of crescent rolls, and that will make about eight of them. Vanilla extract, whole milk, strawberry filling. You can make your own or use a can like I am. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my parchment paper and let me tell you guys something. I found out that you can have pre-cut parchment paper and it has changed my life because cutting your own parchment paper is like trying to work with a puzzle that does not have like matching pieces and it's like one color scheme. It does not work. So go ahead and just buy it pre-sliced or maybe you're a better person and you can do it yourself. That's for me. I'm just so happy they make them. Like, it fits perfectly and I don't have to fight with it anymore. So now that that's done, put it aside. You're going to want to open up your crescent rolls, or croissant rolls, or whatever you want to call it. And you don't want to unroll them, though. You just want to get them out of the tube. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and put it on a plate. And you're going to want about a Cut it about into one and about one inch, maybe a little less. And you want to make about eight of them. Okay. Then you're going to want to go ahead and just put them on your sheet. I said cut eight. I made six. I'm not perfect either. Okay. Then you want to just set these aside and we're going to start working on our filling. Okay, so now we're gonna make our cream cheese filling. You're gonna want to get that softened cream cheese. Open that bad boy up. And whisk it. If you have a sand mixer or an electric mixer, your life is gonna be easier than mine. I do not have one. I don't know why I don't have one yet, but you know, things happen. You're gonna get a half a cup of powdered sugar. Toss that bad boy in there too. And as well, you will want to use half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I can't find my half a teaspoon measure, so we're just gonna double a four. And you're just gonna wanna whisk that all together. 20 minutes later, and a lot of whisking, and then it just has like this creamy, icy consistency, and that's how you know it is. All set to go. So now that I've got my cream cheese nice and perfect, and it's kind of like a paste, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my can of strawberry preserve and we're gonna make a dwell in each of the strawberry, the crescents, and we're gonna put it together and we're gonna bake it in the oven at 350. So you wanna go ahead and preheat your oven starting now. Okay guys, I absolutely hate how this strawberry filling looks. Like it looks so gross to me. I just cannot recommend this to you guys or put it in pressure rolls. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one real quick. All I'm gonna do is put strawberry sugar and a little bit of water into a bowl and into a pot and boil it. And that's how you make one homemade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna show you guys the difference. Okay guys, so I just put a cup of strawberries in here, about two tablespoons of sugar, one, table, one teaspoon of um, cornstarch, and then about two or, two or three tablespoons of water, just so I saw the liquid is right. And then you just put it on medium to low heat. You don't really want it any hotter than that. And then you just mix, 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 and boom, you get something that just looks much more appetizing. I'm off for a shortcut, but like, I just can't recommend this to you guys. I was planning on doing the filling, like the recipe that I got said, but like, yeah, no. We're just, I didn't plan on this, but I cannot recommend 
this to you guys. So I went ahead and made a quick preserve. That's what we're gonna go with. You know, sometimes you have to roll with the punches when you're cooking and just make what is more appealing to the eye because I mean, you eat with your eye as well. Okay guys, so we, like we already cut our things. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my fingers with a little bit of oil. And then we're just gonna kind of build a little well. So we can put our filling in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for each of them. Okay guys, so now you're gonna wanna get about a good tablespoon, teaspoon, cream cheese and put it in each of the little wells. And then you're just gonna wanna go ahead and on top put your strawberries. Okay guys, now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 to 17 minutes, just keeping an eye on them. You know they're ready because they look like a Danish you got at the store. Okay guys, so in here I have half a cup of confectioner sugar, you know, just powdered sugar. To this, I'm gonna add a little bit, like literally a slice, not even a full tablespoon, not even half. A very soft butter. I'm gonna start working that in. And then I'm gonna add little, little, little bits of whole milk at a time and then mix 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 and then keep adding until I get the right consistency. It's kind of a labor of love. You mix a little, but a little. So you just get the right consistency. So once your icing has barely any lumps, you want to make sure to keep working those out. You're going to get your danishes out of the oven when they're golden brown. Let them sit for about 10 minutes and then you're just going to want to ice them with a little bit of this and then they're all set to eat. Okay, now it's time for the taste test. By the looks of these, I'm already super excited. They look very promising and like gonna be my new at-home recipe. So let's try. Mmm. I absolutely love this recipe. It is incredible. You guys have to try this at home. If you enjoy this, like it is so worth it. I think I did a good call on not using the filling and making my own. Guys, it was super simple. Like literally strawberries, a little bit of cornstarch, water, sugar, boom. It took like two seconds. It was worth the, you know, having to fix it up because, you know, I'm always going to make sure you guys get the best recipe. If I think something's not up to par for me, I'm not going to recommend it for you guys. So I want you guys to eat something delicious. I mean, food is goes to the heart. So I want it to be always on point for you guys. These are great and I recommend each and every one of you to try them, especially if you're a big Danish fan like me. And we will not be going to Panera Bread no more. We're just gonna make them at home and save a little extra move on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment down below, and don't ever forget to hit that subscribe button if you're already, if you're not already subscribed. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't mind me guys, I'm just gonna go sit on the couch and eat like 20 of these. Boom, boom, boom.